Hello, my name is KempQ, and I am waging war on the teams of online scammers that have infected my favorite game, RuneScape. When I was a little middle schooler, I had a dream of getting a 10 million GP cash stack. Look at that beautiful green text. I mined, smithed, and merged my way to riches. But before I ever got my 10 mil, my progress was stopped short. Idiot. I was just a naive kid, and there were other players that knew how to take my hard-earned money from my teensy-weensy little hands. Come to find out, years later, there are people making serious money from scamming in RuneScape, selling the in-game coins for real-life money. They never grew up and are still playing RuneScape like it's a job. Oh. But I'm only here because of you guys. Together, you and me exposed the duel arena for what it is. You and me, we spent years exposing the scams, cyber attacks, death threats, and at last, Jagex finally deplatformed this unregulated gambling system from their game. Players can no longer stake above 10 million GP. So the battle is won, but the war goes on. Now that they can't scam at the duel arena, scammers have dispersed all across Gilinor, inventing new tactics to scam players. And they continue to use blackmail, threats, and harassment against people that expose their scams so they don't need to get one of those real jobs my grandma says I should get. Grandma, I love you so much, but I've explained how Google AdSense works to you like 10 times. Don't worry about that, I'm here on YouTube for the long haul. So make sure to subscribe, because I'm about to take you on a journey. One where I avenge my middle school self, where I intend to make scamming on RuneScape a hellish nightmare for the scammers. I will expose their scams, anti-scam their gold, and work with Jagex to shut down their operations. So today I venture into chaos, not knowing what new scams I'm making myself vulnerable to. And before I take that first step, I need support. Someone to give me guidance. Kemp Cure, don't get scammed. Anything you lose to scammers will only encourage them. Think things through, and do not act in haste. With caution, you can restore good to the people of Gelenor. Take courage in what you do, because it is the small, everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. You remember that. But first, we have an announcement and an invitation from HelloFresh. This is a company that can help you kickstart a new year of nutritious and delicious recipes, and I know they can help you do it because I've done it myself. And when you join HelloFresh with my link in the description, you'll get free breakfast for life as long as your subscription is active. Don't use any more time or mental energy going to the grocery store and waiting in line. HelloFresh's main selling point is that they will bring all the ingredients you need for successful meals straight to your doorstep, and even provide easy to read instructions on how to put these meals together. My favorite are the ones that take less than 20 minutes to prepare, such as the one pot Mexicali black bean soup. So click the link in the description or use my code on screen and get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. And many thanks to HelloFresh for their service and supporting these videos. Here I am dressed as a rich noob. I'm using my friend's maxed skill total account and his account doesn't even have an infernal cape on it. So this really plays the part well. This is the fourth account I'm using to anti-lore. The reason is, is that the other accounts have all been flagged by the lurers. They know I'm trying to anti-lure them, so they won't even try against me anymore. But this is a fresh account, so all I have to do is wait. And sure enough, a low level comes and trades me. Hello, top ice cream. And what do you know, full gilded. You might recognize that the lovers use gilded armor all the time, and that's because it's the same color as the Pharaoh's Scepter, so it's a consistent color theme for the theatrical roleplay they're trying to sell the victim with. And the Pharaoh's Scepter is a big part of one of the lures this guy is going to try to pull on me, and I'll explain how in a moment. But also, gilded is just so shiny. Who could resist the temptation? Certainly not you or me. Now, pay close attention to this guy. In the Ellie and Dragon Warhammer, while I bank my items slowly like a big noob, the scammer trades the other guy. Oh, And you might think that this is another lure victim, but if you've watched my last video, you've seen this charade before. I think this guy is probably part of the lure too. I'm handed the Lumbridge Teleport tab. The lurer tells me to tab. This time, a good Samaritan didn't remind me of how stupid an idea this is. So, naturally. But you know I wouldn't listen to him anyway. See, I'm not saying anything 
because you'll probably find out I'm an anti-scammer if I say more things. This is a new experience for me. I've never been lured near Lumbridge. They always take me somewhere else first, like Winter Todd or Barbarian Assault. Kinda light Elisa. She's kind. You can tell she's kind by the way she is. These are her stats. Eliza doesn't like training skills too much. Combat is one of the easiest things to bot, so yeah, it looks like they just bought it at Nightmare Zone or something. Now I'm told if I wear the Gilded and the Scepter, I can win 150 mil. But I've gotta wear them fast. Show all rich items in trade. Rich items? Remember, this is a max account with a fire cape. I have to play the part and act stupid. I borrow his account and then call him stupid. Wow, I'm not pulling any punches today. Rare 10 HP. <laughs> this guy has to be legit. This guy randomly in Alcarid Bank is a unique 10 HP account. I love 10 HP accounts. I love 10 HP accounts. This guy has a cool account. Wait, no, no. 10 HP guy is in on the lure. Brother, how could you? He's probably just hacked this account or something. Look at his stats. That's such a cool 10 HP account. So we're not even in a PVP world right now, which is really strange. And now he gives me the Zamorak bruise to lower my health. This, I'm supposed to believe this is just a random guy walking around through the desert. There's no way anybody does this. Why? <laughs> Is this guy part of the lore too? This guy has some really good stats also. Over 2,000 skill total. This one coordinated lure team is putting on quite a performance with a bunch of really good accounts. The goal is to convince me that I can anti-scam this low level. Looks like a scam, guys. We know- How'd you type that so fast? I'ma take the items and log out, ha ha ha. <laughs> Why would you say, say that in front of him? <laughs> Why would- <laughs> They have so many accounts that are like really good that are in on this lore. It's crazy. You wear there. So finally, they're getting me to the PvP world and this is where I need to be very careful. I could actually lose over 1 billion GP here if there's a scam that I don't know about. There used to be a scam where if you left clicked the Pharaoh Scepter, you'd get teleported to Jalsavra which is a dangerous PvP area in PvP worlds. These days, that scam doesn't even work. After an update from 2022, this scepter has no teleport option. So what's the catch? The scammers want you to think that it's this scam they're pulling on you, and that you can simply take the items but not teleport with the scepter, exactly like how they're roleplaying it here. And how they told us here. And here. All along the way, we've been socially engineered by multiple high-level accounts to expect this outcome. The one that kind Eliza just got. She is part of the lure team pretending like she just got the full gilded and pharaoh scepter. And all I have to do is do the same thing she did, accept the goodies and don't press the scepter. But that's where the problem lies. They are never going to give me the scepter. The real scams happen in the trade requests themselves. I thought he was gonna give that to me. Now, I only have one to two chances to anti-scam these guys before they realize it's me. And then they'll flag this account and never try to lure it again. And I don't have many more accounts to use. This is one of my last ones I can borrow. So the stakes are high to get this right. And now I'm asked to wear the scythe to prove that I have it on me. But I quickly bank it after flashing it because I'm not dumb. And in that time, the lurers reveal their hand. They must have gotten excited and thought I was gonna pull out my gear. Because John shows up in PK gear. Yeah, that is the same guy that we saw earlier. You know, the desert wanderer that warned us this was a scam. And even though I could definitely rush Mr. John here, we all know how that would probably go. It's a much safer bet to go for the low level talker who perfectly has 52 combat just within the range of my low HP Iron Man PKer. He already left the safe zone once, so I just need him to do that again while I'm ready for him. Here he teleports away. And while I'm gearing up on my low level Iron Man PKer, I just hope that that low level comes back. If he comes back on a PvP world like he did last time, there are a limited number of ways he could reach Shantae Pass. 
and all of them converge to this spot right here. I mean, here. I mean, here. This is just out of sight of the other lure accounts. Eyes like a hawk. Reflexes like a rabbit. He actually came. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> 28 mil. Beautiful. My clicks were so bad there. I was I was panicking, but I knew he didn't have any food, so it worked out just fine. I said, tell him to come back. <laughs> and he did. He came back for me. Oh, amazing. And now I'm just waiting at the Grand Exchange for a different lure team to try to come and lure me. But the same guy comes up to me, and I'm thinking maybe there's just one more anti-scam I could squeeze out of this guy before he puts the pieces together. He wants to he wants to try again. <laughs> I died. I died. He says he doesn't know it was me. <laughs> Perfect. Mascara killed me. I'm not opposed to figuring out more and seeing if I can anti-lure them again, so I take the bait. And the lurer has a weird nickname for the person that killed him. Mascara. They know that was my account. But naturally, I'm curious why they're referring to me as Mascara, because I don't get it. Let me know if you guys do. Who is Mascara? Mascara is soon getting caught IRL. That's what I heard. Okay. Okay, so some vague threats. I have gotten a lot of threats from making videos like this one. So please leave a like to help fund my knee replacement surgery because I don't plan on ending this campaign against scammers anytime soon, and I would appreciate your encouragement. The persistence this scammer has is actually pretty remarkable. How he doesn't get bored out of his mind trying to trick people the same way over and over again is beyond me. Well, I've already made another 4.4k, maybe I should just take my winnings and leave. <laughs> Pretending to be dumb, as if I could trade this item. Now at this point, I'm just kind of stalling for time here, trying to figure out how I could anti-lure this guy again. While I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about two other things at the same time. Don't get lured and continue being a dummy. Five minutes later, I'm still figuring out how I could anti-lure this guy. He keeps trading me and then he actually goes out in the danger zone, but he's not far enough out where I could get a teleblock and an entangle on him so he would easily escape. Several minutes later, he seems to be getting frustrated. He's giving up on whatever lure tactic he has in store for me. And he trades me this. He asks me if I know what that first item does, the royal seed pod. Several minutes pass. And he keeps asking me if I know what the seed pod does. Is he actually gonna give this to me? <laughs> There's no way. You know, a little typo in there. Oh my gosh! He gave it to me. He gave it to me. Oh man, that's so good. Sir, you don't win 150 mil if you don't press seed pod. Okay, I will. Now this seed pod teleports you to the grand tree. If I had clicked it, I would have been teleported there and then attacked by the scammer's accounts. But what that also means is that the scammer's accounts should still be there. And if I rush them with dragon claws, maybe I could get them. Nobody here. Oh my gosh. He's just standing there. He's not doing anything. Why am I not hitting? Hit him! No way. Yes! <laughs> no way. 
Wait. I don't get it. Did I get the lure or not? What is happening, man? I don't get what is happening. Yes! <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> and he's still talking. I'm like distracting him by saying, are you going to give me the 150 mil? I typed that out as I'm killing him with the Elder Maul tr or trying to. I kept hitting zeros. What the heck? The hell just happened? <laughs> oh my gosh. This video is already amazing. Give me back. Give me back. <laughs> While you're screaming at me, your two other accounts just died, buddy. <laughs> so now looking back at that situation just a few days later, it bugs me. There's something really weird about what just happened because usually those accounts are run by multiple people. So for two accounts to disconnect or go AFK like that, that does not make much sense to me. Now that could be legitimate, that could have happened that way, I don't know. But another more cynical theory is that they wanted me to kill them. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I feel like a few of my viewers have taken inspiration from my anti-scamming videos, have tried their hand at it, and then lost their twisted bows and scythes. Like, look, my videos are part of their lure scripts. They want you to know about me and for you to try to copy me. I say this every video, please don't try this at home. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. The only way we win against these guys is if you ever see them in game, just hop worlds because curiosity will kill you. They have never traded me gilded armor before and accepted both trades. So either way, this is one huge anomaly, so watch yourselves. It's really interesting to see that these are all the lure locations they go to. The Khazard teleport, mostly harmless teleport, pest control teleport. I bet they just go here to bank or something. But yeah, you can get a pretty good insight into their luring tactics just by looking at these teleports. So all in all, made 272 mil. But the real prize are the account names. They had some really good accounts in on this lure and I've submitted this list and video to Jagex. So hopefully by this time next week, all of these accounts will be banned. Even if they change the RuneScape names, I've got them all accounted for on Scam Tracker 2.0. Your threats are as empty as your accounts. <laughs> Subscribe because we are just getting started. Oh, great job. Now I will kiss you.